I'm Gopal Sijay on behalf of our team Vijayanand Banahati on, and Dr. Sachin Loda from PCS Research. And uh, I'll be presenting our research PicMail, a CGS game for email phishing awareness training. Uh, this will be um, my agenda for the day. I'll start with the motivation and I'll briefly discuss our game and then go ahead with the analysis and observations. Now, our team basically focuses on the human aspects of cybersecurity. And hence, uh, the motivation behind this research was the increasing phishing attacks, especially since the pandemic began. And majority of them target business email compromise as found from several studies. And uh, as we heard uh, during the keynote address, there are several tools for phishing and uh, phishing detection. But it is that situational awareness, like that one uh, human aspect that needs more importance because uh, phishing is a social engineering attack and the ultimate decision of whether to be a phishing victim or not depends on the hands of the user. So uh, this is our proposed method. We developed a CGS game for training email phishing awareness. So uh, CGS games are also known as games with a purpose. They provide both education and engagement. Uh, so uh, they are also known by several other names such as educational games, purposeful games, Games for good and games with an agenda. Now, why games? So, uh, studies, uh, several studies in the past have shown that games help in discovery learning and they are not monotonous as compared to work show, uh, like slideshows and reading documents, etc. And uh, and also, interactive games have positive effects and they also help in immersion. Now, with, with the CDS game, our research questions were to identify how a simulator-based awareness game for enterprise employees can affect the email judgment? And can the decision-making steps provide insights on the employee's email judgment trends? And also, what are the implications, the other implications that the study can offer? Now, uh, just before quick mail, there have been several other successful anti-phishing awareness games, such as Smells Fishy, Fishy, Anti-Phishing Theory, and What Don't Have, uh, to which quick mail is actually similar to uh, so, PicMail is a simulation-based scheme to train the enterprise employees about the tools and tools to be followed while opening an email from their email client. So, basically, what PicMail is, is, is to train the user, to train the enterprise employee or the, the, the person who's opening the email to pick the right email. So, uh, coming to the details of the game, our game has three sessions, uh, which begins with the pre-test. This is to measure the employees or the measure the user's understanding of the concept before playing the game. And this is followed by the game. And uh, immediately it is followed by a post test, which uh, is the user awareness improvement. So for pre-test and the post test, the user will be presented with a set of four questions. Uh, the, they are basically emails. And the user will have to judge whether uh, those emails are legitimate or phishing based on their inspection. Now, the game is similar in this regard. However, in the game, the user will have to dig deeper. They have to identify if every element of the email, such as the email sender, the URLs and attachments within the email, all these things belong to either phishing or suspicious category or are they legitimate. Now, uh, this is a gameplay video. Let me just switch the screen. There is some issue. Yeah. So, uh, this is a brief uh, gameplay video. I will be quickly going through what the game is all about. So just before the game starts, like uh, we provide an identity to the player. So this is just a fictional character and the whole story is fictional. Uh, I just gave a funny character so that the players actually feel like, like, okay, this is like a fun game. So, but once they start playing, they will understand that this is more, more fun and more learning. So this uh, the character is uh, called Peter and he's an employee of an organization, a fictional organization. So what the player will have to do as Peter within the game is to identify a certain, a certain set of emails. And based on this identification, Peter will be either onboarded to a new project within the organization or not. Now, just before the game begins, as I mentioned, there will be a pre-test. So this pre-test, what we did throughout the game is we use those emails which the users are familiar with. As in, the, if there is a chance that the user will get this email in their regular workday, we have used it. So uh, this is an example of an organization email. 
So once the user interacts with that e email, we directly ask them a simple question, what they feel about this email? Do they think that it is a suspicious email or a legitimate email? There is an odd provision to also provide that confidence rating about what they feel about that question. Now, uh, there are four such questions. And each of these questions, they belong to each of the level within the gate. So there are uh, four questions. And once these questions are done, the player will enter the game. So just before the game begins, uh, we show them what, what are the basic rules of the game, how to play the game, basic controls and everything. So this is how the game actually works. Uh, so then the, this is the basic interface. So this interface is actually similar to the email interface of the organization so that the users are getting a somewhat a real life training on how to uh, access and uh, respond to emails that they receive. Uh, so there are three levels within the game and each of these levels focus on separate aspect of the email. For, the, for example, the first level focuses on the sender domain the sender's email domain and the second level focus on sender domain as well as certain URLs within the email. URLs or hyperlinks or whatever. It can, it can be of any form like short URL and embedded URL, etc. And the third level focuses on forms and attachments. So for each level, uh, yeah, we, we provide the users with a set of instructions up front and do like basically to what to look for and Basically, we are providing chains to the user as to how to identify. It's like an initial part of training. See, once the uh, game begins, the user will be presented with an email. So there are certain aspects within this email that might look like how uh, they appear in real life, but they are actually not. So here in this email, uh, we, the user has to identify the sender domain. So once they click on the sender domain, there's a set of pop-up questions parallel, and uh, the user can select whether this uh, domain is in the trusted list or not. So there is a set of help options available that the user can identify. So once that initial identification is done, the user can click on submit and then judge the final legitimacy of the particular email. So as soon as that, that uh, decision is made by the user, irrespective of that, whether that answer is right or wrong, we provide the user with an immediate feedback because the ultimate aim of this game is awareness. So we tell them what was actually wrong or what was actually correct in that email and whether it is actually a phishing email or wrong or not. And then uh, we, we tell them if uh, there are any hidden uh, issues within the email that the user has to take care of. So uh, this is similar for the first four emails, but uh, you can see there is a certain hidden items like hurry up, like showing the sense of urgency. So all these things are very minor points that we are training the users to deal with because see, there are always security systems within organization, but especially in a work from home scenario, most of the users might not actually be uh, checking the emails from their official websites, but uh, they could also be looking at uh, their personal websites and everything. But in case if any of them fall under a phishing attack, it, it will be also affecting the organization and uh, the organizational big deals. So uh, we are also training them to how to count, uh, understand all those even uh, minute things within an email. And the second level here focus on, uh, as I mentioned before, it's, it has under domain as well as a URL. So uh, once the domain is selected, uh, they can also click on the URL and see what uh, whether it is right, is safe address or a or an unsafe address. Uh, and the third level focuses on, uh, so there are several emails with forwarded, uh, which are forwards as well, because, uh, see, if you get an email from someone, it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, email has originated from that person. It could be a forward as well. So in that case, what we're training, uh, what we're training the user is to identify all the senders up to the last sender, so that uh, there is very minimal chance that you are actually clicking a uh, phishing email. And then the final level is for forms and attachments within an email. So once all these uh, emails are identified and once the game is complete, we are providing uh, a set of four questions as the post test. This is similar to the pre test, however, the questions are slightly different, but they belong to the same category. So this is basically about the game. 
Now coming to our study, uh, as mentioned, this is a pre-test and post-test based study. And the participants were the employees of our organization who were communicated through emails. And the total of 478 participants joined the game. And our initial measurements found increase in the post-test correctness of identifying phishing or legitimate emails. Uh, and out of four questions, the average comes to around 3.7 in the post. -test. And the false positive rate and the false negative rate of identifying emails came down drastically in the post test. Now, uh, based on these four emails, uh, the sender domain, URL, attachment, and forwarded email, for almost uh, for all these emails, the post test results were higher, which means that uh, they provided better responses to the to these emails in the post test after the training. And we also did a quick feedback survey just to see how they enjoyed or uh, how they were engaged within the game and the results were generally positive with almost all uh, getting uh, more than 80 percent votes from the participants saying it was fun to play and it was education now coming to our observations so uh, what our game was, was different from the existing game is like we measured the decision making steps of the participants as to how they came to the final conclusion whether the email is legitimate or fishing now, uh, based on this analysis, so you see the further analysis are given in our paper. So this is just a brief outline of this analysis result. And majority of the participants correctly identified the center domains before judging the email. So it's not like they directly went ahead and judged these emails as legitimate or phishing. And uh, in forwarded emails, over 66% participants correctly judged the original sender. So in that case also, we can see that they inspected the email from start to end. And uh, irrespective of the email agency, or 60% inspected the second element within an email. And uh, it's not like, okay, they found that the sender domain is uh, not illegitimate. So they went, went ahead directly. They also took time to analyze the email. Because, uh, yeah, they also, uh, in, in case of legitimate emails also, uh, they spend more time because they were identifying uh, even if there is a minute mistake within that email. And uh, some participants also made false positive judgments. So he, this is where uh, they actually just legitimate emails as phishing because they were either not familiar with the center domain or they found uh, some suspicious element within the URL, but we just not actually suspicious. But what we can find here is even if this is not an ideal scenario, we believe that they took, actual, they took some precaution while accessing that email. However, this needs to be corrected uh, in the subsequent training. Now, comparing this game to the Watt hack, we can see that the pre-test as well as the post-test scores were higher. And the increase in the pre-test scores was likely because uh, this was an enterprise crowd who had uh, prior experience with uh, emails. And uh, to answer our research questions, yes, the participants actually performed better in and responding to these email related questions after the game. However, we have to measure their long-term understanding and long-term knowledge retention. So that is the future scope. And uh, can the decision-making steps provide insights on employees' image judgment? See, we, uh, from the initial analysis of the step-by-step -step processes, we found that the employees were actually uh, making their final decision based on several individual decisions. And they spend more time on legitimate emails, but also had certain false posts. And uh, as for implications, we believe that uh, experiential learning, for example, using simulated emails for uh, phishing awareness. And uh, this could actually help the users understand the concepts in a better manner. And user-specific content for training will also help them because all the emails we use within the game are emails that the users are likely to get in their normal workday. And then comes the feedback. Uh, so for every question and every email, we provided the feedback, which actually uh, helped them uh, understand those minor flaws within an email. And then uh, there is also one uh, smart email client user interface. See, some users took a lot of time to identify certain email domains. So this could be greatly uh, reduced if there are smart email client user interfaces. For example, if uh, they can whitelist and blacklist emails, and uh, maybe if the client interfaces can highlight URLs and attachments within an email so that the users take less time to identify them and judge them. Yeah, uh, and our road ahead uh, for a future work, we plan on conducting immediate tests, uh, delayed tests, and periodic testing uh, to know the knowledge retention. 
and to test for a wider demographic apart from the enterprise audience and uh, also to update the learning contents to more fishing areas as well as more cyber security concerns. Uh, to summarize, uh, to reduce the phishing attacks and to provide an awareness on the phishing, uh, email related phishing, we, pro uh, we developed a serious game called Pigmail and uh, which had a pre-test and post-test method and uh, we found that overall post-test correctness was greater than, uh, than the pre-test and uh, the participants were found to check multiple email elements before judging the email legitimacy. And we also believe that smart email client user interfaces could augment user awareness. Uh, that's it. Uh, I'll be concluding. Thank you and have a great day.